Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I decided that I wanted to do something completely different with my hair. I am going to crimp my hair. So I stopped by Ulta on my way home and I got a crimper and some hairspray. This isn't going to be a tutorial in any way. I haven't really like crimped my hair, like actually crimped my hair ever. So this is going to be a Kind of like a first impressions, first try kind of situation. This is in no way, shape, or form a tutorial. I mean, if it turns out good, you guys can follow this as a tutorial. But let me go ahead and show you what I got at Ulta. So I didn't see many options at Ulta when it comes to crimpers. I only saw two and they were from the brand Bedhead. I got this one. This one is the Away We Go. And I also picked up some hairspray because I do not usually use hairspray but I feel like today I'm gonna need it so I picked up the got to be by shorts cough shorts cough hope I'm saying that right I got the flex insta hold just because I don't like my hair to feel crunchy I like to still be able to run my fingers through my hair and have it be nice and soft so there was two crimpers and this one definitely grabbed my attention because this one has temperature control and I just found out that it's adjustable to make the waves either deeper See how it slides out or softer that's crazy that's wild i'm super excited typically i always do the same sectioning when i'm either curling my hair or straightening my hair just because it's easier this way for me and split directly down the center half and then i always start curling from the bottom i've never really used this hairspray before so this is going to be like a first impressions kind of thing with it says to shake can well before use So since we're doing this for the first time, I don't want them to be soft. I kind of want them to be defined. So I'm going to go ahead and crank this up and put it at the deepest wave setting. This hairspray smells really good, by the way. It's taking quite a while to heat up. It's still blinking. I don't know if I should be using it this way. And then I'm just going to leave the ends out because I like that straight end look. When crimping, I've heard that you should use um, small sections. Crimping takes kind of long, so I'm probably going to like fast forward you guys so you don't have to sit through this. So I'm just going to go all the way up on this side, following the same, um, in the same steps. So we're going to spray, start at the base, crimp, 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 and then do the same thing with every section. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and finish the other side and then I'll talk to you guys right after. So I switched up my part because I felt like the middle part was not working. I feel like the crimper accentuated how much hair I have. Look at this volume. So I moved it around, tried to make it as cute as it could possibly look. But honestly, I'm not a fan of myself with crimped hair. I'm definitely going to try the other two settings, like the medium and then the softer one to see if maybe... It helps. Um, it's just this looks too much like my natural hair and I don't like when my hair looks like huge but that's just me. Like if my natural hair like air dried and I put product in it this is probably what it would look like. But yeah that was fun doing something different. <laughs> Final verdict is that honestly the, the crimper works really really well and the hairspray is also good and it smells really really good and I was still able to like put my fingers through it so Next time I use this, I'm for sure going to use the loosest wave setting. <laughs> Again, the crimper that I used is the Bedhead TG Away We Go, paired up with the Shorts Cough Got To Be Flex Insta Hold Hairspray. Uh, I guess that concludes this video. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next one.